listening to 40 Weeks, a production of the Pregnancy Podcast with Vanessa Merkin. Visit PregnancyPodcast.com slash week for all of the 40 Weeks resources and sign up with your due date to get each episode delivered to your inbox when you start a new week of your pregnancy. Thank you for tuning in to the 40 Weeks Podcast. Welcome to week four, just 36 weeks to go. You can see a picture of what your baby looks like this week, read the transcript, and access the additional resources for week four at PregnancyPodcast.com slash week four. Your baby is the size of a poppy seed this week, and believe it or not, they have grown a lot already. By this time, the egg is a tiny ball of cells that will divide into an embryo and the placenta. The placenta is essentially your baby's lifeline. This is an organ that delivers nutrients and oxygen to your baby, and it carries out waste in the womb. The part that will develop into the placenta starts producing the pregnancy hormone HCG. This stands for human chorionic gonadotropin. HCG tells your ovaries to stop releasing eggs and triggers increased production of estrogen and progesterone. Get ready for a wild ride. Hormones are no joke, and you will feel their effects during pregnancy. HCG is also the hormone that turns a pregnancy test positive. From now until 10 weeks, your baby's organs will develop. Some will even start to function. There is a crazy amount of development going on right now. And the healthier and less stressed that you are, the better for your baby. This is very likely the week that you will miss your period. One of the perks of being pregnant is putting away all of those menstrual products, There won't be any visible signs that you're pregnant yet, but you may be able to start feeling some of the effects. Some early signs are tender and swollen breasts, fatigue, frequent urination, a heightened sense of smell, you may be feeling nauseous. Many symptoms like bloating, cramping, mood swings can be attributed to your period until that doesn't show up and you figure out that you're pregnant. Some women will notice these changes and others have no clue that they're pregnant yet. Sometime this week, you may be able to find out or confirm your pregnancy with a test. For the most accurate results, you may want to wait until the end of the week to take a home pregnancy test. There's no harm in taking one earlier, but you might get a negative result. You're more likely to get a positive result a week past your expected period. And for some women, it can take two to three weeks after a missed period before you're producing enough pregnancy hormones for a positive test. If your period is late and you test negative, you can retest next week. Your first prenatal appointment usually isn't until you're eight weeks pregnant. And for a lot of expecting moms, there are weeks between a positive home test and a visit to a midwife or an OBGYN. These weeks can feel like an eternity. They can leave you with anxiety about your pregnancy, worrying about your baby's health, and a lot of questions about what you should be doing now that you're pregnant. If you find yourself in this position, check out the episode of the Pregnancy Podcast on waiting for your first prenatal appointment at PregnancyPodcast.com slash first appointment. The next six weeks are especially critical to your baby's development. A lot of what you put into your body is going to go to your baby through the placenta. There are a lot of things that you need to be cautious about as soon as you find out that you're pregnant. There are a lot of separate episodes of the Pregnancy Podcast on things to be cautious about, including different foods, drinks, alcohol, caffeine, essential oils, skincare, even safe cleaning products. You should also be mindful of any medications and always run any over-the-counter or prescription medicines by your doctor or midwife. A tip for dads and partners, taking a pregnancy test can be a really nerve-wracking experience with mixed emotions about the results, whether they're positive or negative. If you know that mom is taking a pregnancy test this week, offer to be there when she takes it. Thank you for tuning in to the 40 Weeks Podcast. You can see the full transcript and all of the resources for this episode at PregnancyPodcast.com slash week four. Next week, your baby's heart forms. And until then, I wish you the very best in your pregnancy journey.